Hey guys, how's it going? Culprit here, and today I'm going to bring you a little bit of a different video that I'm going to call Uncut. So when I kind of do videos like this, it's gonna I'm, that's probably what I'm going to call. And the reason for that is these videos are going to have very little, you know, editing. I'm going to try to leave them kind of in their natural form, just so you can see my flanking, see my routes, see a little more into how I'm thinking, because you guys seem to really like the strategy and tactical side of things so far. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, you know, does it make the video boring? Does it make the video more interesting? I really don't know what to expect with this because I'm always trying to edit them down to six, seven, eight minutes. This one's going to go about ten and a half, and this was a pretty quick match. But I, I really only edited out, you know, the death scenes, things like that. So let me know what you think, please. And if you like it, I'll, I'll do more like this, okay? So this is Rush on Sharky Peninsula. I believe it's, it's either 48 man or 60, 62. I don't remember, 64, one of the two. But it's a lot of guys. Uh, so you got to play it very slow. Right from the start, I rush hard left. I like to go down this back alley, provide a flank, and if I can, advance up really far and try to cut the team off. I don't really get to advance too far this time before I you know, get engaged, but I, I managed to do a good job of tying up the flank. I had a couple guys with me as well. And when, when you'll see, if you guys haven't played on PC, obviously, when you have a lot of players on some of these maps, you really have to play it very slow because, unfortunately, it doesn't seem that DICE really designed a lot of these maps with high player count in mind. It seems like they focus primarily on a 24 player count. Um, and they didn't give much thought for what happens when you up the player count, i.e., you know, Operation Metro. It's a disaster with 64 players, you know? So, and, and you'll see later really where it comes to culmination, why I really feel that way. And it kind of ruins the match a little bit, but I still had a good time and I'm okay with it because I know, I know the truth, I guess you could say. So. Uh, I'm gonna try to just stick to the video today. I'm not gonna talk about anything else. I'm not overanalyze. Just just talking about my gameplay. You see, I'm basically just working the left flank here. And my, my thought process is on this is, I'm gonna work this flank. The more guys that are after me, the less guys that are covering the MCOM. I'm gonna clear these build these buildings, and I'm just gonna harass and just try to advance as much as I can and as quickly as I can. Like I said, the more guys that are over here fighting me and the guys with me. The less guys that are sitting around the MCOM, and and I can do little forays like this, and and pinch in towards the middle, and try to just try to cut their reserves off, cut their support off, so they can't get to the MCOM, they can't get there, they they're too busy hiding from me, fl shooting them from the flank, they're too busy engaging me, shooting rockets at me, and they're just not getting the MCOM. So, you know, at the end of the match, you'll see I don't sniff an MCOM, I I don't even know that I see one, um, but at the same time, I feel like I had a really successful match, and I was pretty pretty happy with this. This, you could say, is me really playing in my, my, my super cautious mode. Um, I, like I said, I play very slow. You know, I haven't, played a lot, I haven't played a lot of Rush on PC. I haven't brought you guys a lot of Rush videos. So when I jump in the Rush, I still am a little apprehensive. I, I do like to take it pretty slow because I, I, there's some maps I'm not even sure where the MCOMs are still at this point. But um, this wasn't really so much that case. I did have that mindset to be cautious. But this was kind of by design was for me to work this flank like this. And just see what I could do and see if, if I could really have an effect on the match. And it turned out pretty good. And I was pretty happy with it towards the end of the match. Even though the end of the match turned into a bit of a cluster. Cluster fuck, if you will. Uh, I should note there with a nice quick little headshot and my laser beam M16. That this is pre-patch footage. And, and I really just wanted to get this out to you guys. Because I didn't want to delete this round. Because I, like I said, I did like this round. And I don't bring you too much rush. So I wanted to get it out there before it became. It got to a point where it was kind of silly to put out pre-patch footage. Because I know you guys are really just trying to see, you really want to see that, to see the new guns and things like that. But this video is just more about the tactics and routes and things like that. And obviously that still sticks today because the maps haven't changed. So here my goal is to get up here and just provide a bit of an overwatch. Kind of de-sniper the roofs, things like that. Um, I don't get to advance as much as I would like. Because these guys are actually doing a pretty good job of, of fighting us. But I see right there that guy pokes his head up a sport guy. I know I'm in trouble. So instead of trying to turn on them and take them out, I just back off, you know. Again, that's like I'm saying, my, my, my cautious, I'm playing cautiously. You know, I'm playing more not to die and just keep my presence over here. Keep harassing them. Keep annoying the hell out of them, frankly. I want them to know I'm here. I want them coming after me. Let's see, my team's just doing a good job. We're steamrolling around. We got armor rolled up. We got guys on uh, on this flank. I'm assuming we have them on the other flank. We obviously have guys that are arming the MCOMs because... As you'll see later, as you start to see the scoreboard pop up, I'm having a really good round, actually. And I think I'm not even in the top five. So that tells you that there's guys definitely arming MCOMs. Here, I'm able to take these guys out. I don't really know how. These guys are kind of failing awareness. They, they want to, you know, we tr I trade here. But 
I get good support from my teammates, and I'm, I'm picked right back up. And I'm, I, I, this whole thing is pretty pretty tied into you. You can't start over. You know, you got to get those revives because you got to keep pushing that edge. You got to keep pushing that. You got to be pushed up as far as you can. So if you got to go back to spawn or something like that, it kills all your momentum. So, you know, obviously if you're playing with friends, this is a good way to go. You guys just all kind of go as a team and communicate. But you know, when playing your solo and you get a decent little squad like this, it's great. And you really, once you get these high populated servers, you got to go building to building, which, you know, it can be fun and it can be boring. It can be the same way. Like I do, pref I do enjoy it. I enjoy the tactical element of it. But sometimes, you know, if the map doesn't work, it just doesn't work. Now, this is, if you can time these runs right, it's going to be really good. But unfortunately, now I see this guy on the mini-map. So, I just kind of wait for him, see what he's going to do. He, see, that's why you don't run around in the corners, guys. He wouldn't have lived there anyway. I, I had him hard scope. But my point is, he just ran right around that corner, not expecting anybody there. And he died before he realized it. Now, here, my thinking is... This is what I'm talking. This is this is when you hear me talk about bad, you know, map design by Dice. This is this is pretty much it in a nutshell. You know, like I said, Operation Metro, 64 man. This this, you know, we're having a good rush map here. We are destroying this team. We are steamrolling this team. Unfortunately, the last MCOM is in that building, and with 64 or 48 mans, whatever this is, this thing is nearly impossible to take. Look at where they spawn. They spawn about 20 feet outside the building. It's just too many bodies. And what I'm trying to do here is push up as far as I can cut across and just and cut their cut their reinforcements off I, I know i'm going to die i know i'm probably going to throw my kd all the crap but who cares it's the only way you're possibly going to do this um you really kind of need support with some armor to roll up there or something but even then it's just it's just poorly designed is the bottom line i mean the mcom's up on the on the balcony there and it's just it's you know you really it's really tough to take and like i said we had no problem any other mcoms uh, but this one just it's logistically a nightmare. <laughs> it, it's, you know, a, a squad of six or seven guys up in that balcony are really hard to root out. So, and then when you do get them out, they spawn about 20 or 30 feet away. It's just, I mean, you look, look at all the red arrows back there. Look at them all. <laughs> and I mean, you see them behind the building and I'm trying to get there because I know if I can get there and throw a grenade or two, I can really light them up. But it, they're not the problem. It's the guys that randomly spawn out past that wall, like right here. Yeah, I mean, I, I bled out too far. I, I made a couple mistakes. I didn't expect eight or nine guys to be standing there, I guess. But, you know, if you push up the wall, that's great. But And, and you can you can handle the guys around the corner. It's the guys that just randomly spawn out in the field, and then you're dead. I, I think it happens to me once or twice here. And it's just frustrating because you see me here. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to revive a little. I don't want to stack on the guys in the corner. Because that's one of my pet peeves. I hate. Don't just run up on guys and stack so that they can't run back when they need to. I feel like guys do that to me all the time, and it drives me nuts. But you see, I mean, look at all the arrows. There's just so many arrows. And it's just, it's almost impossible to head off. This guy's even trying to go into that door. Wish that worked, but it doesn't. But here you go. Another bunch of crazy group of guys. I probably should have thrown a grenade there. What are you going to do? Get picked, get picked up again. Now I'm in the building. Oh no, I'm just in the front entrance. Just trying to help out, keep the pressure on, do some revives. It's, it really doesn't matter because they can just spawn right back in at this point. But I know in my head I'm trying to figure out what the heck I want to do. And again, I'm just attacking this corner. And look at all the red dots. They just spawn, they run in, they spawn, they run in, they spawn. It's, it's just, you gotta just try to stem the tide somehow. You do see, I do get a tank pushed up here on my team, but he doesn't last very long because they just spawn right on top of him with javelins and RPGs, and he's down before he really knows what hits him. Yeah, see, here he comes. And, you know, this is what you need, but... And I try to push up and help him with a grenade, but you see over my shoulder, the guy's just spawn there, and he goes down really quick. And, you know, there's nothing he can really do, because you just can't really predict where they're going to spawn. I mean, you know the general area, but especially in a tank, you can't just keep swiveling around and take them all out. I mean, you kind of got to need a good gunner, something like that. But, I mean, that's really what you're going to need is one parked in between. But even then, it's still hard to root these guys out. I mean, you see we have guys on the roof. They're obviously working their way down. So I just try to kind of help keep guys from getting back in the building once we kill them. And like I said, watch the scoreboard at the end. There's, there's some guys that definitely did some work. They had a really good kill count and all that stuff. So it's not like we fell apart on the last part or anything. It's just it's just bad map design. But, I mean, it's still fun. We I still had a good time. And like I said, tactically, I kind of was happy with this match. I, I, I set out with a plan. I executed the plan. I felt like it worked. 
but then, you know, it's just... doesn't really matter how much you plan here. It's, you, I really don't know what the secret is. If you guys know, please post it. I, I'd love to hear it. See, look at, that, look at that squad bomb right there. Boom. And then, of course, bomb protection keeps me from getting a four-piece. <laughs> but... So, you know, I had a good match, personally. My team had a good match. Like, I walked away from that almost feeling that was a win, even though technically it was a loss. But I felt like it was a win because we, we did great. We steamrolled every map, and, and we played well. So let me know what you think about the uncut kind of kind of editing, the raw editing. Uh, if you like it, I'll do more. If you don't, if you think it was boring, I'll edit out more stuff. And, you know, I'm still going to do the uh, the full edit mode, too. But, you know, I just throw these in every now and then so you guys can see kind of the lanes I take and, and, the, and the thought process a little more. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I will talk to you soon.